Update. Thank you all for tuning in with us this afternoon. I would love to hear from you all, so drop us a comment below and let us know where you are listening from today. I would like to welcome to today's call special guests, Louise Curran, Events and Marketing Manager. Louise, thanks for being with us. Thanks, Rachel, and hi, everyone. Our special guest today is none other than Double Diamond, Lyndon Binoff. Thank you for taking the time to be with us today, Lyndon. Rachel, thank you for the opportunity. A pleasure to be here. It's always good fun having these two on a call, I can assure you. <laughs> now, Expo season is officially wrapping up and we are still getting some amazing feedback on our regional expo. We've been very spoiled to be able to hear from some of the top leaders in the industry, not just at our kickoff event, but also at our regional expo. Louise will discuss with you a little bit more about all of the details later on in our update. Now, it is crazy to think that we are already well into the final quarter of 2020 and the end of the year is just around the corner. What an interesting year 2020 has been for all of us. It's been a tough year for a lot of people, but it has taught a lot of us some valuable lessons around connection with your teams making sure you've got a strong mindset. As we lead into a new year, it's important now more so than ever to take control, finish the year strong and set yourself up for an awesome new year. Our industry is seeing some tremendous growth during these last few months and it's important to recognize and respond to the opportunities that are right in front of us. Joining me today to chat through how to close the year strong is Double Diamond, Lyndon. Lyndon, great to have you. There's no one more qualified <laughs> to have this discussion with me. Thank you, Rachel. I'm looking forward to having a chat. 
Excellent. So I found this little quote and I had to put it in because I, I, I loved it. It's every task, goal, race and year comes to an end. Therefore, make it a habit to always finish strong. You know, and that really encompasses, you know, finishing strong in every aspect of your life, not just in business. So, Lyndon, I wanted you to share a little bit with me about, you know, how important is it to review your goals that you set at the beginning of the year when working towards closing the year strong? Well, I think, um, you know, that's important uh, every single year, Rachel, but it's triply important for 2020 because uh, this year has, for most people, probably been one of the toughest years that they've ever had to live in their life. You know, a lot of the a lot of the things that we believe in, a lot of uh, um, have been challenged. A lot of our, a lot of new fears have, have kind of been raised, um, and it has created a huge amount of of, uh, of self doubt, especially when very few people in this industry have been able to achieve the goals and dreams that they set out at the beginning of 2020 to achieve. So I think, you know, the important thing right now is to understand that, you know, we've just gone through a, or still in the middle of a, of a, of a very, very rare event. It's been very difficult to build, uh, to build the business. So don't beat yourself up over 2020. You know, next year, 2021 will be my 34th year in the industry. And, and one of the things that I'm doing right now is doing a complete reset. I'm uh, reassessing uh, my goals. I'm, I'm starting uh, those goals all over again, putting together a fresh plan um, and understanding that 2020 isn't a year that I can change, but I can certainly learn for, uh, from it and go forward uh, into 2021, you know, bigger and stronger than ever before. Absolutely. And I love that point that, you know, 2020 is a year that we cannot change. You know, all we can do is, is learn from it, you know, and add those lessons into, you know, what we're planning on achieving next year. That's a, you know, that is an absolutely great point. You know, I know for a lot of people what suffered, you know, most during 2020 was mindset. Um, with everything that's going on, you can, you can understand why. So how important would you say is shifting your mindset when you're really working towards closing the year strong? Well, uh, mindset is absolutely everything. And, and God, isn't it so cliche in network marketing? When we talk about mindset, we say it's the core value for you to be able to uh, reach your goals and dreams in this industry. You know, we look at a lot of the superstars in Jeunesse, the people that have gone all the way to Diamond and, beyond, and, and above, all of them have fantastic mindset. But the thing about mindset, which is probably paramount, is what's actually occupying your mind. And, uh, and this year has been a, a year where our mind has been occupied by so many other things outside of really what we need to achieve what we want to achieve, especially with our Jeunesse goals and dreams and even extending into family relationships and a lot of other things. So we kind of have to claw back um, our, uh, the time that we're spending focusing on, on things we can't change and, and stresses of the, of the pandemic and say, let's move that back to ch really channeling our mindset uh, towards things that are going to make such a big difference for us in 2021. Absolutely. Absolutely. Now I mentioned before the importance of recognizing and responding to opportunities that are right in front of us. What would you say are some of the amazing opportunities that Jeunesse offers? I think, I think really the number one opportunity for Jeunesse is that it really comes back to stability. You know, uh, I mentioned earlier that I've been, this is my 34th year coming into network marketing, you know, to, to be able to build uh, an incredible business um, and to know that it has a level of stability. You know, 2020 has brought so many traditional businesses undone. Imagine if you owned a restaurant, holy moly, what a, what a tough year 2020 uh, has been for you. But 
even in network marketing, there've been so many companies that have gone out of business. There's so many companies that have run out of money and had to merge. Uh, it's been an incredibly tough year. And what I love with regards to Jeunesse is that we're not only still here, but we're also looking at um, uh, expanding, you know, the product stable that we have, uh, you know, we're looking at already how we're reacting and pivoting to the challenges of, of, uh, of 2020 and, and what we're going to do through 2021. So um, the thing which is cool in network marketing and the biggest growth area in network marketing is that people are not only wanting um, a good opportunity, they're wanting a stable opportunity. Mm -hmm. So a lot of those companies, some that have been around for 20, 30 years are becoming more popular because they're still here. They're still strong. They're still secure. You know, people don't want fast food network marketing companies. They want companies that are really going to be here, you know, for the long term. And, and uh, that's the type of company that Jeunesse is. And, and I know talking with Scott last week uh, on the phone, uh, there are so many fantastic goals that Jeunesse has and plans, you know, for next year. And that gets me very excited as well. I'm already planning um, getting back out there uh, on the road, meeting distributors, starting to do events. Australia has done so well with the pandemic. So possibly as early as this month, I'll be back out doing uh, events around Australia where, where it's possible and safe to do so. Absolutely. I love that point on stability. You know, it is key, you know, especially for someone that's new coming into the industry, looking at, you know, why choose a particular company? You know, I know for a lot of people, stability, you know, is absolute key. Big time. Absolutely. And look, you know, Lyndon mentions that there is so much ready, you know, so much in the pipeline, so much planning going into, you know, 2021. And what I, what I loved about how, you know, Jeunesse and how we all handled this is it wasn't just, you know, reactive. It didn't take us an awful long time to kick into what we were doing. Um, you know, we, Jeunesse Live launched within months of all this happening you know, a, a cutting edge technology platform where we can reach distributors in over 150 countries. That, that was something that takes a lot of people and a lot of companies a lot of time to develop. You know, we switched it on very quickly and we haven't just sat here treading water looking at let's survive 2020. We've been looking at what lessons has 2020 taught us and what can we take from those lessons moving forward into a long-term plan of not just 2021, 2022, 2023. You know, as a, as a large billion dollar company, we, we need to work in advance and really have clear goals as to what we want to achieve. And that's what I love about Jeunesse for me personally is, you know, I know exactly where it's going and I have complete faith that it is going to get there. Absolutely. Excellent, Linda. Well, thank you so much for your time this morning. We appreciate it. It's great to hear from you. So you enjoy the rest of your day and we'll talk soon. Thanks, Rachel. All right. So jumping back quickly to October. October, we saw AMPM. Um, it was a very popular promotion. You will have seen the Facebook Live that i done on AMPM, but I just wanted to give you a little bit of, a, a, of an update. We you know, there's no other way to put it. It was crazy, absolutely crazy the way um, this AMPM promo went off. So, you know, we did run out of stock. We are, we've obviously got productions around the clock at the minute and our first production will be in, in the next 24 to 48 hours and we'll start shipping orders next week. We do also have three further productions scheduled for mid-November through to the end of November and into early December. Obviously, to make sure we're buffering up our stock so we don't end up in another out-of-stock situation. So, look, please accept my apologies for getting into this out-of-stock situation. It definitely wasn't something we were aiming to do. We thought that we had buffered up stock enough. We thought we had, you know, predicted sales. We'd worked very closely off other promos we'd ran with reserve, but... AMPM is proving to be, you know, one of our most popular products here in Australia. And I think that really, you know, the weight of it being a TGA approved product, you know, really, 
you know, adds value to the power of our AMPM um, products. So we will get orders and we will start shipping them out to you early next week. Now, November promos, you will have seen all of them come out um, in our JBuzz that went out yesterday. Executive Explosion. You know, this one is a really popular one in our market because, you know, it's all about bringing in those executives and, you know, nurturing them to make sure that, you know, they are doing what we want them to do in business. So if you have a look at this one, it is, again, another cash bonus offer for you. So you, de you develop a person, uh, an executive, um, and you get 75 US dollars paid to the sponsor. Personally develop two executives, $150. Personally develop three executives, $300. US dollars. Four, five, you can see there on, on this one. Now, you know, it is a very popular one within our market. And I just wanted to take some time to touch on some of the questions, like consistent questions that we've got through, you know, in the first 24 hours of this promo. Now, one of the big ones is, will a creator pack count? Yes, a creator pack will count as long as it's 300 CV or higher. The system will pick it up as a, um, as a package and that will count. The other one was, will an executive count if they are from outside of our region? Um, and the answer to that one is no. This is a, this is a promo within our region. Um, Singapore is joining us in this promo. So executives will count if they are from Australia, New Zealand, Fiji, New Caledonia, and Singapore. Now, um, the other one that's been, you know, highly asked of our customer service and our team here in Australia is, is this promotion for all members of all ranks to participate as the sponsor? And the answer to that one is yes. If they are developing a newly signed up executive who's personally enrolled distributors has purchased a Supreme pack or higher. So, you know, um, have a look at the fine print um, on the bottom of the email. We've sent it all out um, in the JBuzz. Any questions, our customer service team are briefed on it. So do not hesitate in reaching out. Obviously it closes at the end of the month. It is just the 30 day promo finishing at, on 30th of November, 2020. Now this one is probably one of our most popular promos um, I've ever seen, the one US dollar starter kit. Now the great thing about this promo is it's worldwide. So wherever Jeunesse does business, you can access the one US dollar starter kits, which is, is great news, you know, especially when we're working towards closing the year strong and we have you know, all these other promos going on at the same time. Now, coming up at the end of November is our Black Friday promotions. And in true Jeunesse style, we have some very exciting promotions coming up for you, especially within our region here. So do keep an eye out for all of those details. They will be announced in, what date are we today? Possibly, you know, the next two and a half, three weeks. So keep an eye out for the JBuzz and that will go through what the promos are going to be for our Black Friday. The other one that you will have seen and was announced at Expo was um, your new CRM. Now, I hope you have all taken the time to sit down and go through that. It, it, it really is an amazing tool for you to be able to track your customers, manage your customers, monitor your sales, view product trends and, and share marketing assets to people, you know, joining in within your team. This one's also been in the JBuzz. So if you have missed it, make sure you head to the new CRM, you know, and take a good look around. There's no better way than learning than to, you know, play around and have a look at it. So make sure we do that one. Also, the other communication you will have seen come out is the annual distributor agreement reaffirmation. So part of being a distributor with Jeunesse and with, with any company is on a yearly basis, you have to reaffirm your distributor agreement. So that includes um, having a look at the policies and procedures, making sure you understand those, having a look at the terms and conditions, making sure that they are all clear and you know re-looking at the financial rewards plan so when you log in log into your back office you'll see a pop-up 
Um, it'll have all these documents linked there for you, for you to be able to have easy access, have a read of them, and then you've just got to complete your re-agreement. So next time you log into your back office, if you haven't seen this one already, it will pop up for you. Now, just touching again on some of the tools that Jeunesse provide, and we've touched on this one pretty much, you know, every time we've come live to you this year alone, um, J Mobile. But you would not believe the amount of questions we still get on J Mobile and how to use it. So, you know, make sure you take the time to, to go through this. It really is a powerful tool in, in building your business. It's effectively a one-stop shop at your fingertips that you can continue to build your business no matter where you are in the world. Now, the best bit of advice I could give on J-Mobile is down the very bottom, there's some training videos there. Those training videos are amazing. You know, if you watch those, it will show you step-by-step -step exactly how to use J-Mobile to build your business. Now, Share Jeunesse is another one that is becoming very, very popular. These days, obviously, it's all about social media, social selling. So what Share Jeunesse does is it has all of our product images, product logos, um, brochures, information, everything on there that you can go and have a look at, use on your social media. You can send them out to people. You know, the great thing there too, all the videos from Expo, previous Expos are up in there for you to be able to, you know, take some time out and, and watch. And it, it really is, you know, a powerful tool for your business also. Another one of my favorites is the Getting Started app, you know, now available in over 30 languages. You know, this, this is an amazing tool when you are bringing in new people. It, it really is as simple as when you're bringing them in, you know, plug them into this app and, and it is like a roadmap for their first 30, 60, 90 days in the business. So make sure if you are not utilizing this, you take a look at it and you know, implement it into your onboarding strategy when you're bringing new people in. Now, the other one I wanted to touch on is our blogs. We've been putting a lot of blogs up over the last couple of months, you know, just really working on making sure you've got up-to-date product information at your fingertips that you know, you're understanding all the information about our cutting edge products. You're, you know, there's tips and tools on how, how to build your business and there's a new blog going up there every, every week. So what we're also doing is all those blogs are translated into Chinese and they are going up on the Chinese blog site as well as going out on our new WeChat channel. So if you are not on our WeChat channel, make sure you scan this code, um, head to our Facebook page if you need the um, QR code. Everything that we are putting out on our social channels or on our website, our blogs, is now all being translated into Chinese and communicated on the WeChat channel. So it is very exciting. We are getting some massive growth out of um, our Chinese community joining WeChat and, you know, they're really, really starting to be able to, you know, access that information on the platform that they love to use. Now, you have heard me mention um, the J Bar several times throughout this. By now, you should all have seen and be reading on a weekly basis the J Buzz. It is sent out every Tuesday and Friday. And how the J Buzz came about is it was all about developing, you know, one blast that can come out once or twice a week to make sure that you're getting all the information at your fingertips. I know it can be overwhelming at times when you're getting so many emails through on a daily basis, it's difficult to sort through what's important, what's not, what do I really need to read, what do I need to understand. So with the JBuzz, everything that you need to know specifically for your business is in this JBuzz. We also try and include, you know, our blogs in here. So it's giving you some tips and um, tricks on how to build your business. We also throw back to, you know, some of the really powerful trainings that we've done in the past at our annual conferences and our universities. Um, so it is a really good tool to make sure you're connected with on a weekly basis. Now, you will have heard in me mention in the beginning that 
Expo. So Expo kickoff was amazing. Expo regional was just as amazing. I had a great time, you know, spending the weekend listening, you know, to everybody getting, you know, these kind of events are, are just as important to, you know, us as corporate leaders than that it is to you guys out in the field. So Louise, take us away with all the details of Expo Regional. Yes, thanks very much, Rachel. Yes, we had um, a full weekend a couple of weekends ago um, for our APAC Regional Expo, which was a fantastic hit. And we're nearing to the end of all the regional expos. So Latin America is on this weekend. And remember, it's all translated. So um, you'll get it in English and Chinese and set, um, 17 actually languages it's all translated in. So please do stay tuned as well. Um, of course, here's some little snippets of our wonderful regional expo with um, everyone around the world celebrating. It was fun tuning in, of course, to the super fans and um, a, a number of offices through Asia as well were all together. And of course, it was great to see some of our, um, you know, distributors representing our country when talking. Um, so it was fantastic watching everyone and listening to all the information that was coming through. So I hope you all guys thoroughly enjoyed it as well. What I love seeing about all these photos, Louise, is, you know, a lot of people, you know, when they say to you, what are you doing on the weekend? I'm like, oh, I've got a work expo on. And they're like, you've got to work all weekend? You know, but what I love about these pictures is they show that, you know, there's not a picture here of everyone not having a great time and, you know, not really interested in, in what they're learning. So as much as it is learning all weekend, it is also great fun. Mm, definitely, definitely. I was getting lots of individual people who, who couldn't get together with groups and themselves, they watching and they were just thoroughly enjoying the whole weekend just by themselves, but it was great to see. Now, of course, um, you can still keep on watching all the expos. Now, the one that's ending soon that I want to make sure that everyone's, of course, watched it is the Global Expo. So our kick-off Global Expo event, the replay will finish on the 8th of November. So make sure if you haven't watched everything yet or caught up on some of the episodes that were on for the global, do get on in the next couple of days because we've only got the next four days to watch the rest of the global. Then of course, all the other expos that follow afterwards, all the regionals, you have 30 days after the event to watch the expo. So we'll give you countdowns, of course, to APAC as well, um, when that's nearing the end of the replay as well. And um, so everyone has a chance to get on and watch, or even re-watch, to take it in, some more information. You might have missed something in the first time of watching it. Um, take some notes and, and discuss with your teams as well. Um, that's a great way to learn and grow together. What I've seen um, some teams doing, Louise, and I think it's a great idea is They've actually been getting teams together and Angel mentioned it on, I think it was our last corporate mm. update, she joined us, that they've actually been getting the team together on, you know, a Friday or a Saturday morning and they've been getting on Zoom as a team and watching a, a particular segment that was on and then, you know, been discussing that, breaking it down, you know, what can they use out of that? What can they implement, you know, in their business? And that is you know, an amazing leader to organize that for their team and just really making sure that they are taking the time to absorb everything from all of these expos is crucial. And so that is a great idea for those of you out there that aren't yet doing that. Definitely, definitely. And of course, we were we announced uh, Expo for 2021. We couldn't get there this year, of course, to South Korea, but we are going there next year. Fingers crossed that everything's all clear uh, for the end of next year. Of course, we'll keep you posted with everything next year, but um, I'm so looking forward to getting back to events. And of course, the Expos are just amazing at atmospheres and you can start purchasing tickets now if you wish, and you can jump online to the JeunesseExpos.com site to get your tickets now but it will be definitely need to diaratize this date 23 to 26 of september 2021 we are off to south korea for our apac expo i'm looking forward to that one one of the things louise and i were discussing the other day is 
how much we miss. As great as these virtual expos are, there is so many positives to them. Um, you know, you actually get to see more. You're not as distracted by people sitting around you. I love them, but there is nothing like that personal connection when you're sitting in an event and you're surrounded by, you know, tens of thousands of people. So it's one thing we have really been missing um, here and we're really looking forward to Expo next year. Definitely. I'm missing all my hugs and catch-ups and high-fives from everyone. So I can't wait to see everyone in person. And of course, we released that we are off to Dubai for our 2021 incentive trip, which will be an amazing location. So can't wait to go check out this place with everyone. We have no dates as yet, but keep posted. We'll certainly keep you updated on everything like that. And of course, with the expo packages that are available at the moment until the 15th of November, you can get travel points that go towards this fantastic trip. So it's definitely something you want to look into. I know many have already qualified um, because of the wonderful travel points that are available in the travel pack, um, the expo packages. So um, it's fantastic to see that it's going, it looks like it might be a really big trip for this one. So a lot of people are getting behind it and wanting to go. One of the great things about, you know, having the virtual expo tool, Louise, is it's given people the opportunity that they've never had before as a Jeunesse distributor, generally there is your region's expo. So for us, APAC, and you get access to event packs um, and you can purchase two. And so therefore, if you purchase two large ones, you get 200 points and you're effectively halfway there towards your incentive trip um, qualification because in the, the beginning one where you're in a full trip for one is 400 points. With our kickoff event and with our regional expo, it's given you the opportunity that if you buy the packs, you're instantly qualified. You get those travel points and you can get 400 points straight up and you're instantly qualified for Dubai. This is something, you know, Jeunesse has never done before and it's giving everybody an amazing opportunity to ensure they are on the Dubai incentive trip. Definitely. I look forward to it. I look forward to seeing everyone there. Okay, of course, um, our ex, our local regional convention and Sapphire Retreat, we're still just not sure about um, the new dates yet. We're just keeping an eye on everything that's going on at the moment and with lockdowns and states, come, some states can't go into this date. So we'll keep you posted. So as soon as we know more, but no, it's definitely going to happen. Um, just to when, we'll, we'll let you know in the coming months, hopefully. And Iceland, same with Iceland. We do have the dates locked in, but of course, you know, with the ever-changing situation of the world at the moment, we'll keep an eye on it each month and keep you updated. But for now, it's from the 28th of March, the 1st of April next year. Um, so we'll see what happens. And if not, we'll, we'll wait for head office's decision of what we'll, what we'll do with this event. But fingers crossed, because yeah, we all want to go to Iceland, that's for sure. Yeah, I think, you know, a, a lot of people have been asking about this one because there's been a lot of stuff coming out in the media, flights, you know, won't be back to normal until the end of 2021. You know, the biggest question we get is, you know, are we going to miss out on Iceland? You know, I can assure you that we will not just close that trip down and you will, you will lose it. You know, we will change dates, we will honour it in some other way as an absolute worst case scenario, but I can assure you Jeunesse will not just cancel the trip and everybody will lose their right to be on it. That's obviously not something Jeunesse would ever do. So I just wanted to make sure we are all assured of that. Excellent. So of course we have our Discover Jeunesse live events that happen each week. We have two that are broadcast in English and two that are in Chinese. So you've got your choices there. And they are on every Sunday, Monday, Wednesday and Thursdays. And you just need to click on the link of the individual speaker that you would like to listen to and discover and have a look at the opportunity of what Jeunesse can bring your leads um, as well. So definitely share this information with anyone interested in joining Jeunesse and get them to listen. Of course, if there's any questions, 
or um, anything you need to discuss further, we're always open for you to contact us. Thank you so much, Louise. Now that brings us almost to the end of our November corporate update, but I just wanted to touch on a couple of important webinars and events we have coming up. Now, correct me on the dates, Louise. We've got this scheduled for next week, is it? Correct, next Thursday, the 12th of November. So it's our usual Thursday meeting time of 12.30, daylight savings time. Um, a webinar on resilience, body, mind, soul. What, um, it's, it's a book that was written by Gillian Fish. She's the co-founder of um, 6AM Agency in Sydney. She's got over 30 years experience in the advertising PR space. And she's actually reached out to 21 wellbeing experts to share their insights on resilience during a pandemic and talk about their learnings. And, you know, luckily for us as Jeunesse, Dr. William Anzalag was one of the doctors that she reached out to. So, you know, it is an amazing book. And what she's doing is she's putting all of the key points from the book together um, in a webinar for us next Thursday. So I'm really excited about it. The book is amazing. I'll be on the webinar with her. So make sure you put this one in your diary because it really is not to be missed. Now, the last one I wanted to mention is at Jeunesse University on the 3rd of December. It will be our final virtual event for the year. It is going to be a fun-filled event. It's our final one. So we'll be having a bit of fun, a bit of training, you know, we'll have some Christmas messaging, you know, it really is that Christmas time is really just around the corner. So make sure you add that one to your diary. The 3rd of December, we'll start communicating all of that soon, but I'll look forward to seeing you all at that university. That brings us to the end of today's corporate update, guys. I hope you all enjoyed it. Take care and we'll see you soon somewhere in the Jeunesse world. Bye guys.